So, this is my um, recent Air India experience. If you're thinking that I'm just going to bash Air India, then you come to the wrong channel. You go ahead and change. Um, it's not like I had the most pleasant of trips, but I'm not here to just bash uh, this company. So, without further ado, I just returned to Delhi from a trip through from Delhi to Frankfurt, Germany, to Atlanta. And on the way there, we could we have we ran a transfer section in the basement of the Frankfurt airport. And I'm like, can you please let me out? Um, I don't need a visa. Um, and I don't want to wait in the basement for two hours, even though it's just two hours. No, it's our rules. Whose rules? The airport. Oh, okay. So not immigration, just your airport decided to put me in the basement. Mm -hmm. But then, on the second leg of the trip from Frankfurt to Atlanta, I had to get wordy. I had to exchange some words with the Grand Purser. There was a baby who was fine on the leg from Delhi to Frankfurt, but I was sitting next to this child, and I'm telling you, I, children cry, but this child cried, and after the fourth hour, after the fourth hour, I went back to the person. I was like, um, you haven't attempted to, to help this lady and help the rest of us. I haven't attempted to intervene. Um, you've waited until I've come back here and complained, and so it becomes a negative thing. Whereas babies cry, and if you could just accept that, then you could help that woman. The three guys says, well, only the mother can help the no, honey. Mm -mm. No, well, then you can assist that mother. Does she need some milk? Does she need water? Does she need to walk around somewhere? Does she need somebody to sing and clap with her for a few minutes? Whatever you got to do, we can not sit next to a crying baby for four hours. And then maybe something's wrong with that baby. Maybe he has altitude sickness. And I'll give you an example. On the way back, on this leg here that was from Atlanta to Frankfurt, there was a guy who was sitting in front of me who was from South Carolina. He had this real nice draw. I mean, T, he told the, um, he told one of the stewardess, and what do you want me to do? Well, um, I used to just inform people I'm an emergency medical, you know, trained. You know, she didn't know what it was. This was one of the stewardesses. She didn't know what it was. And she's like, well, what do you want me to do? I'm like, well, I just usually inform people when I'm on the plane in case, you know, there's an emergency. And I was like, thank you, and thank you for sitting in front of me. But this lady was like, well, I can tell my, my you know, she told her head person. A few minutes later, the head guy came out and was like, oh, you know, thank you, blah, blah, blah. It was just one of those weird things. She was like, well, tell me what you want me to do. It's like, I'm telling you that if there's an emergency, I'm able to be on this side and more ready for you to see. But when people are, it's just funny. It's just a funny way that people interact. Um, but on the way there, that crying baby, I was like, the guy basically dissed me. And when I say dissed me, I mean, he was like, well, that's what he was like. This is the head guy. He was like, I'm busy. And then the seatbelt came, light came on. And I was, and I was standing there like, with the, after he, we had this little exchange, I was standing over in the corner stretching. And there were these two older guys who were, you know, back there with their gin. I love the back of planes are always bar. You always find, well, them, the old guys back there with their gin. So here they are. So here they are with their gin. I see my light comes on. He gets shocked with me. You need to go sit down. I'm like, who are you talking to? And he's like, he's, like he's going to be talking to those old guys, too, like that. And I was like, F-O-U-L. That is foul. So I was like, strike on you, Air India. I'm going to sit down. And then I mean, I said, and then another stewardess said something to me. I was like, just you know what? If if you can't find a way to to, to you know to intervene and help that mother, um, in, in such a way it does not make her feel like we're back here complaining because she got some loud baby and, and make her feel uncomfortable. If you can't do that, then it's not worth doing. Mm. Finally, the baby called, the baby cried down after after hour five. I was feeling for the baby. But that was my trip there. But on the way back, I have to say, it was much better. And I actually did write an email that you're Air India. Part of my Air Indian experience is I haven't heard back from Air India. Not even the um, acknowledgement of my email. So 
Um, what had happened was this plane was about a third full. And OMG. How can they make money like that? We were all like stretched out. There was an old man who was stretched out for takeoff. They had to be like, can you strap up, please? We had to talk twice. And um, oh my goodness. How can they make money? That much fuel for that few people. And they were going from Atlanta to Frankfurt um, to Delhi and final destination uh, Hyderabad. So it was poor people who had to they have layovers all those. Because none of us were smart enough to take the Kansas direct commute from uh, Delhi to Frankfurt. I mean, from Delhi to Atlanta. And not Lufthansa. Lufthansa would go through Frankfurt, too. Um, but even in, in Air India, you know, so we were down there. But even in Chicago, the, the wing that they had for all the third world people <laughs> going through the third world flying out, it was really nice. Uh, in Frankfurt, though, I'll get back to Frankfurt. Um, but in Chicago, I don't like O'Hare. It's always just friendly and delayed and I don't know. It was the first airport I ever flew to outside of my own outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And so um, they they only had liquor and it was just like a liquor bar in in there. And so that was my area experience in the lounge too. But on the way back I have to say two good things. Because there were, you know, a lot of people who were really spread out, people really gave each other space. And for seven, eight hours that's really important. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, there was this, there was this young lady who was sitting next to me on, on the arm to Frankfurt from Atlanta. It was a woman from Bangalore, a young woman and her mother. But she left this on the plane. She was reading it. So in honor of that little girl, I took it. In honor of that little girl, we changed just a few words. I helped her plug her thing in her laptop. But anyway, um, I'll read it. And I'll finish it on the plane. I'll leave it there. Bye.